on the fast-flowing Kvichak River close to the remote Alaskan village of Igyagig, a large horizontal turbine with two sets of blades is slowly being positioned into place. Its pontoons soon were flooded, sinking the whole construction to the shallow bottom where the river current will provide power for village residents. The turbine system called RIVGEN is manufactured by Ocean Renewable Power Company, ORPC. It's got a very low vertical profile, so it allows us to deploy our technology in sites that are much shallower than anybody else can do. RIVGEN turbines work at depths of about 5 meters, generating up to 50 kilowatts, usually enough to power small communities. Sauer says the turbines are very safe for the environment. At the peak of salmon season, we had almost 2 million fish pass by this thing. At the end of all of that, we did, we did not have a single uh, fish uh, injury that we knew about. Horizontally positioned turbines can be scaled to larger dimensions, such as this one, deployed not in a river, but in Maine's Cobscook Bay, known for its strong tidal currents. The design is especially efficient here. With cross-flow turbines, it doesn't matter whether the water is coming or going, they always rotate in the same direction. The larger Taijian turbine can generate up to 600 kilowatts. Its voltage varies as the tide ebbs and flows, but with additional electronics it can be stabilized and synchronized to interact with the main grid. With a projected price of about 50 cents per kilowatt hour, the system is not competitive with natural gas, but for remote communities where diesel generators can cost more than one dollar per hour, energy from flowing water could be more economical. George Putich, VOA News.